Hello Year 7, uh, this week we'd like to do some retrieval work around our literary heritage. As you can see on your video, um, this is the unit you were doing for many, many weeks for Christmas, so I know you're going to know a lot as we go through this. Firstly, what do you need? Well, you need a pen, you need your book, your English book or line paper, and you need to pause now if you need these things. When you have these things, please write Wednesday, the 6th of the 1st, 2021, and the title, Lesson 1, Our Literary Heritage Retrieval. Write that nice at the top of your book, as you would if you were in class. Following this, we now have a quick quiz. You'll notice in the top right, a big red pause button. Whenever I want you to pause, I will put that picture in this video. So you can see the quiz here. You don't need me to read it for you. On your paper or your book, can you please write down all these questions? There are eight questions, but question eight has three answers. And take some time now, about five minutes, to answer all these questions. As I put in the orange box, please answer in full sentences. I'll give you a minute now. You should now have had a go at that quiz. Make sure you've written down all your answers. No peeking. What good is that? You're just cheating yourself. And here you have the answers. Go through, if you've got your purple pen, why not keep those high standards and mark using that purple pen. Any questions, any qu uh, issues, contact your teacher, they'll help you out. But by and large, I'm sure you've done very well on this. So now we get to the main focus of our lesson. Which of these myths do you really like and why? Do you know any of these? Are there any of these images seem familiar? Maybe there was a myth you particularly liked. Maybe in lockdown you could read some of the myths. Uh, you know, we're all about learning more and more. So we have picked a myth called the myth of Icarus and I say Daedalus, but probably I don't say it right. So say it however you wish. And um, we would like you to read this story. It is attached as a separate PDF. If you would like to read it on that, you do not have to print it. Or part one of the story is below. Once you've read this, you may read the next part of the story, which is on the next slide. So you may want to pause this video now to read, or as I say, pause and get the PDF. This is part one of the story. And this is part two of the story. As I say, you might want to pause this screen while you read it. Now, if you're still listening, you should have read this story. If you've not read the story, please do pause and go back. Very important, because we're now going to move on. However, what you have just read is what we are going to quiz you on. After this lesson is finished, you must do the quiz. The quiz is on the story you just read to check that reading comprehension that you did in the last assessment. Now, get ready to analyse some language. So, on the screen in front of you is a small extract. Um, it's not from the story you read, but it's based on that. So, we're going to do some language analysis. Here's a description of the flight. What features can you find? So, high above, the sky was an azure blanket. Like a soaring bird, Icarus whooped and cheered with the utter glee as he experienced the best day of his entire life. However, like a malevolent god, the flaming, fiery sun threw down daggers of golden heat upon his stinging back. Slowly, so slowly, he hardly noticed the hard, brittle wax began to melt in congealing clumps. Did Icarus even notice? So, just have a look. Can you see any interesting alliteration? Maybe some fricatives? Any good pre-modification? Any interesting adjectives? Any repetition? Any rhetorical questions? Anything at all? Take a minute now to have a look. You may want to pause the video, you may not. So now, how does the writer use language to describe Icarus's flight? Well, what is the question asking us to do? What does language mean? Can you think of three words to describe Icarus's flight? And how would you start your answer? Think about those questions now. So, to help you out, We've given you some key quotes to focus on, like a soaring bird, daggers of golden heat, like a malevolent god, whooped and cheered. You might choose to pause this video and write those quotes down on a bit of paper and annotate them, or you may wish to carry on. That choice is yours. When you feel like you've started to understand the language in the extract, you might be ready to start writing. So, in your book, write down how does the writer use language to describe Icarus's flight. You might notice this is very like a lot of questions you do in class. It is, 
because we're trying to get you to work on your language analysis skills. Once you've written down this question, you may now think about, well, how do I write this? We like to start with ultimately. Ultimately, Icarus's flight is presented as. What is this flight presented as? Is it powerful? Is it tragic? Is it uh, really vivid? Is it really intense? And then you need to pull out those quotes and fill it in. I would set a 10 minute timer and I would spend at least that 10 minutes writing as much detail as you can. Aim for double inference, aim to show a range of terminology. So not just saying the word, tell me if it's an adjective, tell me if it's a verb. Not just saying sentence, is it a simile? Once you've done this, well done. You've completed this narrated PowerPoint. However, as I said at this earlier, you need to go and find the quiz on Show My Homework and show us that quiz. Any questions, please contact your teacher. But well done for listening and have a wonderful week.